Mama Bin Laden. Hey, first off, I want to say, I asked George Bush before I blew up there in the World Trade Center. I asked him, he said, okay. I blew it up, next thing, uh, next thing I'm blowing up. What kind of guy is that? <laughs> so anyway, I've been here in San Francisco ever since they started attacking Afghanistan. And you know, um, I like it here a lot. I've been out partying a little. And one of the things about Osama that your people probably don't know is I like to do this. Yeah, drink, drink, get drunk. Uh, party. Hell Allah. <laughs> but anyway, I know music is shit. The stuff you listen to is crap. It's garbage. So the first thing I did was buy every piece of quality music in the country. So the first thing I did was buy Slave Pit Incorporated. Yeah! So it's very good. Qua is on that label, and DBX is on the label, and now they're on my label, Osama Pit Incorporated. It's going to be great. But before we let DBX play, I want to showcase for you people here the new Osama Incorporated Act. I have assembled what I feel to be some of America's greatest performers, and I've got them here tonight for you to perform before DBX, they will play later. Let's hear it for America's last hope. This is the first time we've done this, so patience, please. <laughs> Get that other mic over there, kind of to the side. To the side! Come on, move, 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 move it over that way. Oh, must I do everything myself? I might as well have flown the plane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Woo! I'm gonna go back to the sound booth and spin some hits. They're gonna perform for you. Let's hear it for America's no. Last Hope! <laughs>
As long as it seem to make as much sense, but it is called pants. It's about my one man war to never wear pants. I wore pants tonight as part of a costume thing, okay? Normally it would be a kill, but somebody lost it! Asshole! I was sworn to wear that kilt every night of the damn tour. Oh, it smelled. And I figured if anywhere, San Francisco could handle the smells, okay. This song is called Pants. to that, but we like it. Welcome to the Dave Brocky Experience Strip Mall Tour. Believe it or not, this place is a relief. <laughs> Kidding, tip your bartender. Anyway, it's great to be back here again. It's pretty fun to be in a band where you can cover 
yourselves. See if you recognize this one. but chose to play it now, I don't know why. It's going out to all those fucking Enron executives. Steal a billion, pay 10,000, good deal. Song called Damn That Money. Money, 
when you're walking out my door. Walking out my door, damn that money. money. I hate money. money. I got money, go walking out my door. What do they want? Track me. That's okay. Shots. Shots equal nudity, so. Let's keep it Jägermeister too, please. This is for what you uh, this is for you old school guaf fan.
Cigarettes during the show. I've always liked to smoke cigarettes during the show. Sometimes I don't. Smoke the shit out of some cigarettes. Do slips. Do slips on form for this. He's got to get a shotgun. setting gay people on fire. But wouldn't it be nice? Introduce the rest of the crew. On guitar, Mr. Richmond. Yeah. Give it up, give it up. That's right. The whole thing with me losing me kill made me abandon the strange persona I've been taking for most of the tour. That is Captain Grog, Captain of the Sea Slot. With my brave crew members, Mr. Richmond, and of course, we found this guy on a some kind of weird jungle paradise. Ladies and gentlemen, we've told him that he rules the world. So and he does. Does. Ladies and gentlemen, Tiki Bobo, Jungle Wild Man. Yeah. Yes, my, how can we serve you? Okay, there has to be a certain amount of raining, but actually we learned a lot more songs. So, raining's pretty much over. Song's coming now. I will land, though. I will land. Yes! This song is simply called Too Much Stuff. Woo! 
Away from being trilobites. Hard to believe that we're not evolving. Hard to believe that this is, isn't as good as it gets. Yeah. Just look at the rock. What a specimen. What a bullet head. What a moron. The rock will die every night. But tonight was the first night. That was the first time we've ever done that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We'll never do it again. That was just for you, San Francisco. But I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad Homer was spared. Aren't you glad I didn't shoot Homer? Anyway, that was a good call. This is a caveman song. And this is a song that the caveman would sing. When they were trying to get the cave women to come back to the cave. Um suck the caveman dicks. <laughs> but the women didn't want to. Hanging out with my crew. That didn't stop them from singing. Like I'm singing to you. And if I'm pointing at a guy, just pretend I'm not. Oh.
And just imagine a guy standing next to or on the porch of a Pueblo cave dwelling. The sun is coming up. The women are doing the beating, the doing, actually not doing the laundry at all. They're doing something fun. The guy standing up there. The rock disappears under a hail of. You earned that, man. Yes. Look at how small his head is. Then remember, that's life size. <laughs> Have you heard about this fucked up West Nile virus and how a mosquito bit Fabio in the dick? Did you hear about that? Yeah. It's hush hush, very high level. But I know all about it because I was there. Because I was the mosquito. I have the shape changing ability. <laughs> anyway, Fabio's penis got incredibly large, gorged with venom. Swole up to the size of a cocktail peanut. It was agonizing. <laughs> Fabio flew to see the Pope. Or the Pope would bite the puss out of his dick. Anyway, with the next song. Next song. <laughs> Don't remind me of Rance. He's telling me songs. <laughs> this song's called <laughs> Two Smart Guys Fight About <laughs> Magdalena. 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 Many years I've wondered why Michelangelo carved such a small dick on the David. It couldn't be because, it couldn't be because he was trying to not show the male form in its greatest, greatest appearance. If he was doing that, which he did with the shoulders and every other proportion of the body, why didn't he carve David with a huge cock? 
Was he afraid people would think he was gay? I hope not, because the Pope was gay. Or perhaps he was afraid of the Pope's reaction when he saw the cock unveiled deep in Michelangelo's subterranean Bottega where his eunuch slaves labored mightily and there is his David. Help me with this, Mr. Richmond. And the David is unveiled with its penis and his penis does a veil. It's a Ron Jeremy penis. It's a fucking huge penis. And when the Pope saw the penis, he simply went mad. And Popes were much athletic back then. So he leapt using a series of convenient trampolines. It went like this. But then, it wasn't over. The Pope continued to use the motion he had created. He spun around and around and around. It was like some kind of... Ferris wheel, papal suck-off conspiracy. Some people ask me, Dave, should I send my child to Catholic school? And I say, sure, if you want them to be raped and molested. Everyone, let us pray. Oh, this is a song by Death Biggie. First song they've ever wrote. Ever go out in the lamb on the I'm a new out there and I'm a glove. So many women, you know he's got 15 women. You know he's coming, he's coming to town. And when he gets there, he's going to fuck you. that met with Hunter Jackson and Charles Vaughn and many of the other original slaves that formed Gua. When you listen to a song like this, is that the one we're about to play? You'll wonder how that could have happened. The song is about a dog.
be turned into a dog. Swallowing and them things are circular and sometimes they have more than one. Indoor croquet kitty snipping following. <laughs> so rest or rest! What? Yeah. Oh, I get to say it. <laughs> okay. But, wow. God damn it, I miss Clinton. God damn it. Man, what? It's not like I know the man. But it was kind of cool. American Idols with that number. I mean, that other guy's gonna get it. Flap 
Comedy numbers to arise from the Holocaust. Yeah, 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 yeah
Hemp Mob. Let's play some more music about masturbation. I think I'm going to do that. Richmond, without whom I'd be uh, one, I'd be something, I don't know what I'd be, but it wouldn't be this. Sorry, when I get in the pit, I'm not trying to love someone, all right? I mean, I'm not trying to kick some of the shit out of anyone either, but I'm not like I'm trying to get kisses. Some guys are, though. Pit kissing, have you seen that? I've seen it. 
Ah, it's Duna. Pit kissing, Brad. There's nothing wrong with it. Fucking pit kissing. You're running around and around, people running around, lots of smoochy faces. I met you at GRI. Shut up till you learn how to rock. 
until you learn how to play the song. We got a few more for you. Thank you so much for coming all the way out to this weirdo place. Love it, and thank you to the pound, because this is a kick-ass venue. If only we could pack up the pound and take it everywhere. This song used to be called Iranian Masturbator. Now it's called Renegade Austrian Bungee Jumper.
I'd like to thank Osama Bin Laden for being here tonight. Let's hear it for Osama. Come on, let's hear it for Osama Bin Laden. Where'd that guy go anyway? I kind of dug his tunes though. No, he's... Well, the set is over now, but DBX has never been a band to receive enough applause to get an encore. Set maybe in San Francisco. So you know what? No, oh, shh. Tonight, all I say, because every else we play, everywhere else in the world we play sucks. Tonight, we're really gonna let you give us an encore, okay? these next two songs are on the set list doesn't mean we play them every night. You guys. <laughs> yeah, come up here and I say that, that asshole. I thought you know, so Who said that? Come up here and say that. That's for you. Yeah. Don't feel like <laughs> oh, oh. That's right, we are dicks. I've been on speed for five days. I don't think. I don't think. Dude, man, let me just. I mean, they got cameras here, so let me just make a point real quick. You know about the whole drowning pool thing. You know, and I, that's really. I know tonight was a comedy kind of show, but I'd like to make a point real quick. You know, man, like doing that shit is uncool, and like, but you know, as long as you can just limit yourself to like drinking and and pot and speed and. And like, you know, downers, I love Xanaxes and Klonopins. They're really cool. And fucking like snorting Oxycontin's rules. It's killer. So but don't, don't shoot yourself up with heroin, that's bad. But fucking snorting Oxycontin's got it. Do you know anyone out there is out there? I'll snort, I'll fucking snort. I don't care if I die, just give me that shit. Oxycontin. I'm dying. Ah, what a waste, it's a terrible waste, it's a really terrible waste, but still, it feels good, so, come on, look now, look now, look now. And I quote, I got drugs! I don't know where our Tiki Bobo, our drummer is, we are playing a couple more songs if you ever get his ass out here. Yeah! Yeah, here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, this is King of the World, Tiki Bobo. With drinks for all his mates. Aww. What a good guy, what's this? I don't know, it's yours. That's good, I like that. They gave it to me for free. We're always mates, that's what you gotta do. Treat people the way you wanna be treated. You drink, you make them drink. That's the way I treat all my friends. If I wanna snort Oxycontin or like pour it into my eye and then dissolve, I do that for them. And if they don't wanna do it, I wait until they're asleep and just grab their eye and pour Oxycontin. I mean, that's the you know, so I wanna treat people the way I wanna be treated. And if that means I need a fucking coffee sherbet enema every morning, if, you know, I want people, I wanna do that. I mean, I want people to do that for me. It's a special song. God damn it, this is a special song. You guys are from San Francisco. I don't know if you can really get this one, but I'm thinking you can. When Dale Earnhardt died, there was nothing on the radio or TV for fucking four days in Richmond, Virginia, except Dale Earnhardt shit. The worst part of it was the really bad poetry these people were writing. Dale Earnhardt, number three. We'll miss you on our color TV. <laughs> I'm saving up to get some more tape. <laughs> hey, Leonard, I love you. Then three days later, Mother Teresa dies. Who gives a shit, right? <laughs> this song is about where we come from. 
the South, the capital of the Confederacy. And it's dedicated to all those South will rise again, motherfucker. Because we got some, oh, look at my button. It's getting pointy at the end. It's called karma, and it's built on genocide and slavery. Together. 
Yourselves a fucking round of applause. Vincent Price's house. 